What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is your first time here. My name is Israel. Thank you for tuning in. Before we get started here, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not yet, consider subscribing for more content. So here, as you guys can see, we have Bitcoin ripping, baby. This thing is going. It's crazy. I mean, we called it on that last video that I posted. That it, I mean, we were expecting Bitcoin to rip through through the weekend, right? If you haven't watched it, go watch the last video. This is exactly what I said that we were expecting to Bitcoin to make this exact run over the weekend, over sixty thousand. It's crazy, all time highs, all time highs, sixty one thousand. Wow, this is the all time highs right here, sixty one eight. It's crazy, and you know what that influences our baby right here SOS again on the last video I said that I wanted another green candle remember we had this red candle we had this little green candle right here and I said that I, I wanted to see another green candle perking up and the market listened to me and gave me exactly what I asked for <laughs> no I'm just kidding but yeah that's 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 what I was I, that's what I was wanting to give me like some confirmation of a possible curl right so let's look at the last day's action and uh, we why is my thing looking so weird uh, come on I don't know why it's looking like this Okay. Alright. So let's keep it like this because I don't know why I think Kasumi is acting all weird right now. But well, this this is the last five minutes, so we have this pretty nice move up to the sevens, which let's look at a wider time frame. Let's look at the five day. So right now here we're gonna have some resistance guys, okay? If you look at the technicals, this area right here is loaded. We got a lot of back holders that are sitting right here. And that's exactly what happened here. All these people that bought up here, been holding this entire time. Once it hits that price, they start selling. That's, I mean, that's pretty much what the chart tells you. That's what is going on right now. We're gonna have this uh, multi-day resistance on the seven dollar area up around this uh, last high of seven twenty-three. So we're gonna need more volume to break through this area. Okay. So this volume was good, but right after you see it dropped pretty quick. So we had this big drop. We we need some volume to come in just like this, but we need that volume to sustain, to break over this, to have that nice breakout through this level right here. Something guys that I'm very, very, very interested on is the fact that we've been having some serious short selling activity in SOS. So according to a uh, Fintel on the 12th, which was Friday, the total volume that SOS traded was 66 million shares, which is, I guess we've had higher volume days, but well, out of those 66 million shares, almost 22 million shares were sold short. The day prior, we had a 57 million share day, almost 20 million shares were sold short. The prior day, 26 million shares. The prior day, 33 million shares. We've been having some heavy, heavy shorts. And I don't know what the, the, the total interest, the total short interest is right now, but I'm assuming that it's very, very high. And I wouldn't be impressed if it's like 90, even up to 100% short right now. So, if on Monday, with this baby going crazy back here, as you see it curling back up, I totally see it taking 62,000 today. If SOS gaps up and some volume pushes through this area, we're gonna see some massive short covering, okay? And that is gonna be beautiful. So the area that I'm looking at is this pivot point right here. And we're gonna get there. I'm not saying that we're gonna get there on Monday, but I think the most amount of sh short covering is gonna happen in this in this area, in the $9 area. 
if we curl and we get up here guys this area right here i think it's gonna cause a major short squeeze possibly if we break nine i think the next the next area is gonna be between 12 and 13 and 14 like this area right here if we break nine i think those shorts covering are gonna get us to this area right here and that will be outstanding and again it's not only sos it's lga shell it's R R I O T S M A R A. all these uh bitcoin stocks they are gonna be in play next week 100 percent. you gotta realize the stimulus checks are hitting next week i think most people i i read that are getting like on the 17th which is wednesday so that's a lot of money a lot of new money coming into the markets i can guarantee you that a lot of people are going to start opening brokerage accounts with those stimulus checks so that's a lot of new money coming into the markets okay so i think next week is going to be i'm very bullish next week i think there's going to be a lot of buying next week and i think uh it's going to be a hard week to be a short that's that's my that's uh my opinion okay i'm not saying like again i cannot see the future but especially next week, I think it's going to be a hard week for short sellers because there's going to be a lot of new people with new money and all they're going to be doing is buying, okay? Especially Bitcoin and especially all these Bitcoin related stocks because that's, that's, that's what's trending right now, okay? And all these 20 like young kids that are getting 1400 bucks, some of them might not even need it. So they're like, why not? Let's put it in the market. And that's what happened with the last stimulus okay a lot of money came into the market rushing <coughs> and it sent the market on a very bullish trend and i think the same is going to apply this time and i am very very bullish on all, all the crypto stocks again sos lga shell mara riot very bullish on those and bitcoin i am sure that by monday is going to have a high of over 62 62 grand so th i think that will cause for a nice gap up on all these bitcoin stocks but again guys remember don't buy even i don't care if you are day trading i don't care if you are investing in these stocks even if you are investing you want to get the best price possible okay so my suggestion if you are a newer guy and want to open a position in sos for the long term you still want to get the best price you can get so don't buy into resistance okay don't try to buy the breakout that don't do it buy on a pullback buy onto support buy on support don't buy our resistance because that's all these guys up here all these guys up here see resistance right here all these guys on this green candle right here all these guys right here all these guys right here they were all buying into resistance and then they end up holding the bag so that's just my suggestion don't buy into resistance i wouldn't buy right now let's say let's look at the again the, the one day five minutes i wouldn't buy up here i wouldn't buy close to seven this area right here is an obvious resistance look how heavy it is look at all this selling pressure you see all these wicks that's selling pressure the stock is very heavy in this area don't buy in this area buy down here you see you got you got we got some nice support here in the 640s we even got some support right there where it closed price resistance becomes support this is a good price to buy at and again if it gaps up and you look at what's been happening we get all these gap ups sell off giving you a perfect opportunity to get in later on pre-market and then ride the market open they all been shooting up that's what is happening look at what's happening in pretty much all the the, the cheaper stocks like the the lower market cap and the you know low floats they've been spiking selling off pre-market and right at the open shooting up like apply that mentality to everything okay remember like the trend is your friend don't fight the trend don't buy up here buy on support don't buy on resistance don't get fomo get to you boys don't get fomo get to you 
And that's it for today, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in. I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this content, again, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. See you later.